Um, well, I'll just give you a little bit of background uh, about IOTech. Um, we um, started up uh, about four years ago, um, and we were really concerned about uh, data that was being produced and security of it by all of these things that were being um, uh, produced and proliferating, uh, but being really insecure of that. So um, Mike Fawkes, who's our CTO, uh, and I, um, penny dropped moment for us, um, and we, we started IOTech. I'll just give you a quick video, if I may, of uh, give you a little bit of a background of who we are, and do that right. Just to set the scene a little bit. So if I may, if you indulge me, just spend a couple of uh, uh, moments to speak about what we do. Um, uh, we say that trust and needs, uh, data needs to be trusted in this fake news world. Um, it's very easy nowadays for, to, for data to be intercepted and to be interfered with. Um, so it's really important to have uh, data. We uh, compare data with water uh, in as much that it comes uh, where it comes from. Uh, how it's delivered to us, uh, has it been stored during that process, and uh, is it trust and trusted and safe to use? And that's what we do, because trusted data allows <coughs> us to make better, better informed decisions. Um, massive market, IoT, we all know in this room, the numbers are just astronomical. Eight billion devices being connected uh, today. That's producing 2.5 quintillion. That's 13 zeros after the 2.5. That's set to triple by the end of this year, at the end of next year, to 25 billion devices. So, according to many of the uh, uh, of the reports, people would pay more and buy more um, devices if they trusted them. Uh, if the uh, security was better, 22% of them would uh, would buy more if they knew uh, uh, pay more if they uh, trusted their devices, and 70% would actually uh, uh, buy more devices. That's in the consumer side of the field. What we're finding, some of the challenges that some of the, the uh, C-level um, uh, are having as far as the implementation is concerned, is almost two-thirds um, site, site security and data privacy is a main barrier to them uh, moving into the IoT. Over half of them, because standards and protocols uh, haven't yet been determined. So there are some of the barriers uh, that are stopping people moving to IoT. Um, uh, and this is hopefully where we're trying to support um, the manufacturers and people who want to adopt IoT by securing the data. And our part is, is we secure the data from the point of generation on the silicon uh, in the device and make sure from that point on that the device itself is authenticated um, and we can take the data from it as being true once that handshake has taken place, all the way through the communication, the storage, and ultimately when the end user comes uh, to call upon it, that we will authenticate the end user that they're okay and authorised to take that data from the, uh, from the storage, and that that data has been uh, untampered with all the way through the process from the point of origin. That's what we do. We're a true end-to-end -end data security uh, solution. Um, a technology simple, agnostic, uh, efficient and secure. Um, we're simple to in integrate, you, do, you require minimal uh, cyber security expertise. We, are, we, are we have designed our product to, to make these manufacturers easy to implement in their design process. They're 
great at making the connected stuff that they do, be it in connected, in buildings, in transport, or have you, but they're not necessarily cyber security experts. And so we take away that pain for them. We're agnostic in as much that our communication system, um, we don't care which way you do it, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, however you get that into the network. Uh, we secure the contents of the pipe rather than the delivery system. Um, and so we don't care what the operating system uh, is either, and we're efficient. It's a very low footprint uh, computational wise. So we have, because a lot of these uh, devices are uh, battery operated, so you have uh, resource uh, uh, constrained uh, resource from that point of view. Computationally, you will have as well, uh, and memory. So we have a very small footprint as far as uh, how we sit on the silicon, and it's secure. We've been through the GCHQ um, accelerator program. Uh, we've been guided very much uh, in, our, um, uh, in our development program by some of the most phenomenal brains down there. It was a real treat to be down there for nine months. Uh, and so we've been looked at fairly, uh, fairly uh, um, critically as to making sure that the way we've developed our uh, technology fits in with the way that the government wants to see people do their stuff. So, uh, that's pretty much who we are. Very glad to speak to anybody about what we're doing um, after the network system. So thank you for that.